With me in the studio is Professor Jan Werner, Chairman of the Executive Board of the German Aerospace Center. Now, we've just heard that the Europeans are actually planning to send people up in space with the ATV spacecraft. Do we really still need that, human beings up there? I think yes. Human beings in space have a big value. Uh, of course, we can do many things with robotics, but the investigation of medicine, for instance, is really purely can be only done with, with men and women, of course. But actually, we've had uh, human astronauts up there for yeah, about 40 years. What else are you trying to find out up there? What we are doing right now is really research in space. We are not sending just men and women in space, but we are doing research. For instance, blood pressure, salt regulation, or also the immune system, which is changing due to the zero gravity condition. Mm -hmm. But robots up in space are actually taking over a, a bigger and bigger part. And also with budgets shrinking, they might actually win out in the end, right? No, I don't think so. The exploration, for instance, human heritage is curiosity. So exploration is a typical human thing. And therefore, I think it's the synergy between robotics and humans. The, what we just seen in the report, uh, the launch of the Soyuz rocket was actually a major part and a major cooperation uh, with the Russians. Are there more joint projects coming up? Yes, uh, so joint cooperation in space is really a day-to-day -day business. Uh, we started this, uh, of course, in 75 be between Apollo and Soyuz, but now the International Space Station and many bilateral projects are in space. So, for instance, also, as uh, you know, uh, with the Chinese, Simbox is a German experiment on a Chinese experiment and on a, Ch a Chinese uh, launcher. Is that actually the only way to afford research up there in space, if everybody works together, all the different nations? No, it's to make more out of the same money. So what we can do is with the same money is much more because we are combining the competencies of different countries. And what are the, actually, the actual highlights of the European Space Agency? What are you planning? So we are doing many things. Uh, so Earth observation, for instance, especially in the case of uh, catastrophes or major activities on Earth, we can use the space in order to help people on the Earth. So this is one. Then we have a communication system. Then we have a navigation system in the future called Galileo, which will not be an independent, only an independent European access, but it will also give the opportunity to combine the American system, GPS, and the European system, Galileo, to have even better quality. The Americans, the NASA is actually handing lots of projects to private industry. Is that a way for the Europeans too? The European agencies and also the German space agency is working always uh, together with private industry. And for instance, the European launcher Ariane mm -hmm. is organized by a company which is called Allianz Bus, which is a private company. Mm -hmm. And they are also, of course, looking at uh, tourism up into space. Would that be a nice thing for you to do? Would you risk it? I would do it immediately, uh, even if there's some uncertainty, because I think that's part of my understanding of exploration and mankind, and I feel very uh, curious, curiosity, uh, I feel curiosity in my body, so I would do it ex on the same day. <laughs> Thanks a lot for the talk, Professor Werner.